because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Razaban IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everdas uh, with me uh, a happy, a delighted Luke Campbell. Luke, the emotions on Chris Billum's face when it was announced and the new, something that will live with him for the rest of his life. Oh, 100% um, for us all as well. I've been through a hell of a lot with Chris over the few years I was, I was in the gym um, with him and from, from where he started to where he is now is incredible. And for what he did tonight, is incredible, you know. I, I, I believe he beat the best cruiserweight out there right now in the world, and obviously Lawrence was world champion. But I think he was the best out of them all, and he, he got the job done. What was your reaction when when they announced one twelve, one twelve? Yeah, I mean, I started counting the thing. Hang on, it was three knockdowns and two rounds where they did no points. How the hell did it was one twelve, one twelve? Like, I think this this is this is what spoils boxing sometimes. So. This, whatever, whatever judge scored that should be questioned about that. Why? How? How? Explain yourself at least. Because it does spoil boxing. It looks like um, Lawrence spoke then. I spoke to Sugar Hill as well. Sugar Hill as well, and he made it very clear. I told Lawrence to go out and throw punches, and it looked like Lawrence just couldn't get into his rhythm. Now, is that down to Lawrence's ability to not get into rhythm, or was that Chris Billum doing what his tactics were properly? It, it could be a bit of both, you know, it's, it's, it's one of them, isn't it? It's whether you can do it on the night. And, you know, I've never seen so much urgency in the last few rounds come out of Lawrence and what, it, what he, he was doing with his attacks. Like, I've never seen Lawrence do that, so he was in desperate need of getting that KO. And, you know, he'd give it everything he possibly could. And Chris waved what he did and come back with his own stuff. And... You know, it was at times a difficult fight to watch, but you know, it was um, it was great. Chris won. Were you at any stage like, thinking that the referee might just disqualify Lawrence? Uh, yeah, at one point, because you know, I think it was telling him, telling him, and you know, the, the crowd was was booing at times when it was happening. You know, it was constantly. Referee was in a very, he had a very dif difficult match to to ref. I think he did a great job. Where's the party at tonight? I don't. I'm, my my mates are already there. <laughs> You're gonna send me the tag now. Get yourself here. So I think we'll be setting off so, shortly now. Um, rematch. There's a rematch clause. Lawrence says he he will initiate. He will activate that rematch immediately. He's happy to come back to Bournemouth. Can he change it? Can he change what went wrong tonight? Um, what did go wrong tonight? You know, he took a shot on the chin. It's an unbelievable shot. It went down and I think it turned the fight a little bit and you know, it's it's boxing. It's the big guys out there, the both strong punch punchers. And it's you know, it can easily get turned around in one punch, so who knows? Luke, appreciate giving me a little bit of your time. Go on mate, uh, bus is waiting and uh, get the party started. Cheers, Luke Campbell, IFL TV, thank you very much. because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut up, Harry. It must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.